Sometimes I leave behind. Yeah, you're a competitor. <laughs> so, uh, Andres, yeah. this is your bike. Yeah, that's my bike. Yeah? And what is Enduristan? Adventuristi. Yeah, Adventuristi. Yeah. Explore more. That's a great name. Yeah, thanks. And I heard you told me something about these stickers. Yeah, basically uh, we have two events. Uh, one is in Lithuania. It's called Lithuania X Soft Enduro Race, 524 hours. Yeah. You, you have to do 500 kilometers in 24 hours. So it's a challenging track. Yeah. It's for the Enduro and Hard Enduro bikes. You need to be in good shape then. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, and the second one is uh, Adventure Forest Rider. It's the same race in yeah. Latvia. So, we did it also. We've been first one in this one and this one. Yeah. Yeah, so, overall, yeah. It's my bike. Yeah, it's really cool. It's 701 for 690. 701. Yeah, 701. And uh, then you have something really interesting here. Yeah, it's a uh, Garmin. 8 inch. Yeah. So, but basically what I like about this Garmin, that it's on the Android and you can use the DMD2 app and basically what it allows you to do you can have a road book here is the buttons yeah you can control the and it's Garmin device so you have perfect antenna GPS antenna yeah you have a road book if you want you can also use the DMD2 map with the GPX files and so on so definitely recommend that device it's yeah. perfect for me you are prepared for roadbook rallies then, and challenges and everything. Sometimes I, sometimes I travel, sometimes I ride rallies, and sometimes just for fun. Or you, like, like today. Are you too tired to jump over the bike again? Easy. Just to show us uh, that you are in shape for those kind of challenges? I just don't use the... Like this? Ah, look at that. <laughs> you must have been a gymnast in your life. I'm a personal trainer. <laughs> ah, to see that. Thank you, Andres. Yeah, you're welcome. We'll check out your YouTube channel as well. <laughs> Thanks. Adventurista. <laughs> cool. In Adventuras Ride 2024, it's our event in Lithuania. It's an orienteering game with the tents, with the some stuff to do. And those we have some squeezes also what we'll have tomorrow. Yeah. But we have much more participants in Lithuania. And this so how around, many participants? Usually it's between 2050, 320, something like that. Oh, that's great. Is that uh, a lot of riding uh, or uh, is it it's also actions like here? One day ride. It's yeah. One day ride. And basically most of the participants comes before the day, the yeah. day before. So on Friday evening we have dinner. Next day, early morning they start, they ride. We have lunch all together so yeah. it's the break time when everybody comes to the camp we have the lunch and then after the lunch we continue our ride yeah. then we have a finish and the ceremony and uh, the sauna. that sounds perfect it's so good. good to see you Andres. So good to see another event maker out there as well yeah. i have only as well been an event maker arranger really? for some years okay, yeah, three years in a row the nice. event school in sweden Okay, nice. Yeah, but then I just felt that I need to ride more than to others to ride. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So back to basic again, but it's really fun to do events actually. And yeah. also go for events because yeah. you meet friends. That's, that's why I'm here, because I want to see how other countries organize yeah. events. What yeah. can I take from them yeah. to organize better events in Lithuania? Yeah. And everyone does it a little bit differently. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's great, course, because yeah. then you you can choose and pick. Yeah. yeah. You can more enjoy different different experience with that. That's that's great. I love that we have international community yeah, it is. to ride motorcycles. So I have one idea yeah. about the event around the Baltic Sea. Yeah, yeah. And we can talk about that. That okay. would be something. <laughs> that would be something, Andres. Yeah. Yeah, I have idea. Even the sketch. Yeah. Scheme how it, it might look. Yeah. I will explain. But I need some people. Well, I, I need at least one man in Latvia, Estonia, yeah. and Sweden. You need like 200% forehead. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that, we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk about it. And uh, of course, it's soon time for a beer or something. We have been worked out here for a long time. <laughs> but personal trainers maybe don't recommend beers when you have worked out. I, if you want, you can drink whatever you want. <laughs> That's your life.